Hi, Fernando. Um, you asked me some questions about post-crossing. So I had been doing some postcard exchanges on Reddit. I don't know if you're familiar with Reddit. And um, there's a post cross or there is a postcard area on there and I had been doing some direct swaps with several people and someone on there had mentioned uh, post crossing and thought I'd check it out and I joined in June of 2017. Unfortunately when I started post crossing you know I didn't know I would get in this deep into it and I didn't have a very good filing system and so I could not find my original first postcard but I did find my second postcard and this one was from Taiwan and um, it's a it's a train station in Taiwan and it was really cool very exciting I waited a long time for my first uh, postcard I sent the five that you get originally and they all went to Russia and it took forever I was probably a month before I even saw a postcard so I was I was really bombed and my husband joined about the same time and of course got his in like two weeks or a week you know very fast so hard to pick a favorite card so I've officially done over 400 and something postcards through post crossing but I also do a lot of direct swaps and so I've done over 700 direct swaps because I also do um, a United States one and so it's it's so hard to pick a favorite um, postcard but I do have a few that that just I just love and this first one this is probably one of my most favorite and and the video is not going to do it justice it is a gorgeous card in person it looks kind of like a chalkboard that's what it that's what it looks like originally and like kind of an etching on a chalkboard and this is uh from russia and i just i love this postcard it's one of my favorites another one of my favorites um again the 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 ones i've picked um this one is also from russia and i like postcards that have these cutouts and anything that's unique shaped or cool this is i just love this one because it's it's very unique and um this was from moscow so that was kind of cool uh, Russian postcards seem to be the most unique postcards and I, I'm not sure why they also have gorgeous stamps so I have a whole uh, one of my biggest books is uh, all Russian postcards and they just have really gorgeous um, stamps um, but here's another one this happens to be another one um, from Russia surprisingly but this artist there's a series there I don't know if you can see it in this light um, it's probably not very good in this light and it's like a, a whimsical um artist and i get a lot of these kind of, i like these and then this last one i picked um again it's just so hard to pick but this one just makes me smile when i see it and it's it's very simplistic it's from the united states it's just a, a bird um i just this one is just really gorgeous in person you would really love it and the girl was very creative and she drew i love tea so she drew like some tea I mean she's a fantastic artist obviously so this one was really one of my favorites too and I've met so many people I actually have many uh, pen pals that I've met through post crossing and um, one friend that I've met um, we exchanged very very regularly today I, I got a, um, a big package from her in the mail and we just send uh, all kinds of stuff we've been talking through messenger even for over two years and um, it's just fun the people that you meet and um, going to your mailbox is always exciting and and even on your worst day and and at the stage I'm at now I get several postcards a day usually and so it just makes it very fun and my family likes it also they love to get the mail so the good thing about this is that you will actually look forward to getting mail so um but again thank you Fernando and uh good luck with your post crossings bye-bye